Well, I think you had the idea to do these pieces. I think there's only one recording before our one of the complete uh, well, concert it's arias not of Mozart. Complete. Uh, I think it's not available anymore. But it, the whole idea came because I was in Munich in, in, in a store looking for music. I was actually looking for uh, Don Giovanni score and, and Così Fan Tutte, and I discovered this edition of the concert arias for tenor. And I went through them and I said, this is it. It's, it's quite a big challenge because a lot of these pieces are the very, very young Mozart, mm. which require a tremendous amount of energy and um, they have an identity all their own. Mm. They're not the Mozart, perhaps, that we, that we really know, but mm. you have to go at them with, with so much fire. And, and this is a chance to almost, like, discover a new mod, I mean, for me, certainly, I'm in this process of, of singing uh, all the Mozart that I can. I, I, I absolutely fell in love with, with, uh, with these composers, I, I think, happens to every singer. And as we all know, it's, it's one of the most difficult uh, things to do, to, to sing Mozart. <laughs> What has been a wonderful um, a surprise is the uh, is to discover a couple of arias that are just sensational. They're no, it has everything. Very, very special. That is an amazing, amazing work of art, and technically speaking, for the singer, it's just it, it challenges you in every single field that you want. You know, passaggio, mezza di voce, high notes, um, interpretation, bravura at the end. Uh, it, it has everything. Text, how to manage the text. Well, there's that incredible uh, jumper. <laughs> Aura, ra, 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 ra. <laughs> this beautiful um, intervals. No, uh, you know, when, when people tell me, oh, well, yeah, Mozart, you know, well, yeah, Mozart, no high notes. I say, what? Mozart is full of high notes, but the beauty of Mozart is that he doesn't write the high notes the way we know them. Purquam Rebe, yeah, bang, here you have the big high note, ta yeah. No, it's another note, it depends on the tonality, it's just a note that you need to go through to continue the melody and the legato. Yeah. And the, the, the aria that we, we just did, Vada al furor portata, and misero o sogno, it's fantastic to, to compare them, the very, very, very early Mozart, and then the, mature. the mature Mozart. Yeah. Two wonderful pieces, but it's beautiful to see the development also of the composer. It's always somehow music with an incredible class. And yet the search for colors is so important because also it's very dangerous that in the process of polishing you end up having just one way of doing it. And actually, Mozart in his letter says, I, I want to hear the drama in the music. This singer is giving me the character. I like that singer. This singer, is not, he was so intense about the acting part of the voice. And as he used to say, I do tailor-made music. The composers demand that you bring whatever you have in yourself to the piece. One of the joys of this record, I think, is to be able, for me to hear Rolando um, have fun with some of the comic arias, because I think that this, it, you have such a feeling for, for comedy, just, just the way you are, and, and there's a, a couple of arias that leave you this opportunity. I think Mozart was a great clown, and I said this with, uh, with all the respect, because I believe that being a clown is, is to say that somebody's a clown is a compliment. And, and because a real clown makes you laugh, but also, and most important, makes you dream. A real clown is poetic, and a real clown uh, can touch the sublime. And I think 
it's just extraordinary to be doing this music, singing this music, uh, working with this with this uh, composer, playing with this composer, and having those moments. Suddenly you are in heaven. <laughs> Oh, my God. 